morning everybody welcome to Monday and we are having another contest yes in honor of our 200th episode that is coming up this Friday we're having another contest yes we have the contest going that started this morning attendance in the coffee in the a.m. show up 8 30 to 9 Monday through Friday best attendance goes into a hat gonna get a drawing for a very very special unique one-of-a-kind gift now this contest for in honor of the 200th episode is going to be based on comments that you leave here in the Facebook uh, video down below. There's a little comment sign down below the video. Put a comment down there just like you do on the lives. Exactly like you do on the lives. You can add a little comment or type in back and forth. Everybody does it. You can do it on the video as well. So in each video this week there's going to be three signs i'm gonna hold up a i'm gonna hold up a sign this one's blank not to confuse you but i'm gonna hold up a sign it's gonna have a word or a number on it and gabrielle in her segments is going to give you a playing card you need to put all three items in the comments below in order to be entered into the drawing you need to do that every single day everyone that gets all three comments in there in the comments everybody will get put into the drawing for another one of a kind gift related to our morning routine that will be um, shown on Friday so we'll do the drawing on Friday after the episode Friday morning we'll do the drawing sorry this is long-winded I know I talk too much sometimes sometimes it's a little boring I'm sorry I'm sorry but this is really cool you want to see this prize you want to win this prize it's really cool another one of the kind one of a kind different than the other one for the coffee hour this one is specifically related to the morning routine so you want to check that out so you'll see it you'll see the codes you'll put those three items in the comments below and get entered into that drawing all right we got it all Great, let's get into some uh, get into some uh, headlines, shall we? For Monday, to get Monday started off right, we'll talk about some good headlines. This is a good one. You may have seen this one because uh, I know we have a lot of fans of this company. Subway tuna sandwiches and wraps contain no actual tuna lawsuit claims. So what the heck is in them then? And how do they make them taste like tuna? Inquiring minds want to know. Next one, wombats, as seen here, wombats are the only animals who poop cubes, and we now know how. I didn't really care. I don't wanna. Poop cubes. This is wrong, man, this is wrong. All right, here's the last one. Here we go. Don't freak out, but Lady Gaga Oreos have finally are finally in stores nationwide. Lady Gaga Oreos. I'm not freaking out uh, that they're in stores. I'm freaking out that this is a thing. Lady Gaga Oreos. That's what freaks me out. Did we need Lady Gaga Oreos? Whew. All right, so what is our theme this week? It is getting ready for the interview, getting your clothes ready, being sure that everything's ready to go, and it's making sure that your clothes are ready, clean, and wrinkle-free, that you brushed your teeth and did your hair. You know, and for dudes, make sure that you shave. You know, these are good things to do the day before, and then the day of you're gonna do the brush the teeth, the brush your hair kind of thing, but uh, you know, the shaving, you can do that the night before. And you wanna do all these things so that you don't make any of these mistakes right here. I, I tried a new hair dye last night. Go Hawks! My lucky helmet! Yeah, so uh, I'm trying this new hair product. Yeah, it's called a Theradome. Seems to be working out pretty good. You know, before, man, I didn't, I really didn't have much of any hair. 
but the Theradome really seemed to be helping out. Yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. It's kind of my style. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know Sea Dog? Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for taking some time out of your very busy day to meet with me. I do appreciate that. And I'm sure as you can see by my resume that my experience is vast. I have great education and line up pretty well with what I think you're looking for for this company. Hi, how are you? I think I can roll with the blonde hair. It makes me look like a Viking. Not really. All right, moving right along. Let's get a positive thought from one of the most positive dudes we know, Sea Dog. super motivated here is a new segment from Ray highlighting people in the world of disabilities some that have their own disabilities doing amazing things and have quite a reputation so check it out right here hey everybody happy Monday I wanted to introduce you guys to a new segment that I'm gonna start featuring here on the morning routine every Monday every Monday morning I'm going to tell you guys about a famous person who has been born with a disability or who has had some sort of disability that they've had to overcome, much like many of us out there. So we're going to get to know a famous person who uh, has had to grow up with a disability, but despite that has accomplished great things that have benefited society um, for the greater good. So I hope you enjoy it, and here's the first episode. Our first feature is a gentleman by the name of Ralph Brunn. The late founder of the Brunn Corporation, one of the leading manufacturers of wheelchair accessible vehicles, and named a champion of change by President Barack Obama. Ralph Brunn was a man who thrived on bringing the freedom of mobility to people with disabilities. Born with muscular dystrophy, Ralph started his career in 1966 when he created the first wheelchair accessible van with hand controls. And in 1991, Ralph's company Brunn Ability created the first accessible minivan. His vision has brought mobility via four wheels to millions of people around the world, and despite passing away earlier this year, his legacy will never be forgotten. All right, so that is one courageous dude who saw a need and went after it. That's pretty darn cool. Took a lot of hard work and effort, I'm sure. And, um, you know, we talked about this a few weeks ago, but what do you think he focused on? Do you think he focused on... You know, to make all this happen, to be able to do the things he did. Do you think he focused on his disability or his ability? Ponder that while we take a look at the National Day of. 
Good morning, everybody. Here we are. It's February 1st. Can you believe? I can't believe. January's been folded up and tucked into the closet. We are now a new month. So with a new month comes a new day. And with a new day, a national day comes. And the national day is get yourself up. Get up day. Not get up out of bed or get up out of the chair, but get yourself up. Last month, we all had goals, right? We had habits, achievements, however we wanted to call them. But we probably have slipped, slid down our hill a little bit. But that doesn't mean we don't get back up because without that hill, we're never gonna achieve the top of the mountain. We wanna get to the top of the mountain. Nobody says, oh gee, you didn't do it. Oh well, try something else. No, we've got to accomplish that. Keep on going. It's good to have those goals and achievements. So today you're going to get yourself up. I'm going to get myself up because I had something I want to do too. I've slipped a little bit, but I know I'm going to achieve it because I'm going to keep getting up. I'm going to keep brushing myself off and getting up because when I finally do achieve it, uh, the reward is great. It makes you feel so accomplished. So I want everybody to get up today on National Get Up Day. Oh, the worsty, worsty thing you gotta do every day is get up in the morning. Ugh. <laughs> Or did I get up and uh, eat my hair? Or oh, so much hair. Oh. Get up, brush my hair, brush my teeth, shave the beard. Oh. Bob hate getting up in the mornings. Oh. Bob hate it. But Bob liked to play music, so we played a get up day. Get up. Already screwed it up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, day, get up, day, get up, get up, get up, get up, day, get up, day, get up, get up, get up, get up, day, get those doggies going. Yeah, you know you gotta get up in the mornings and get the doggies going. You get them moving a little bit, get the brushy brushy and the, the shavy shavy and you know, you get moving and then you can get on with your day uh, playing the music, broskies. <laughs> see dog, see you later, brother. All right, I'm up, I'm up. I'm up for some back in the bearded past with Zach. Hey guys, it is February 1st. We are in the second month of this 2021 year. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful start to the week. I hope your morning's going well. You're getting ready to settle in and enjoy some morning routine and get ready to, you know, get ready to get this week pumped up and started out. So, guys, let's go back in the past with Zach. 1893 Thomas Edison completes the world's first movie studio. Pretty cool since, I mean, we watch a lot of movies and we like movies and there's movies that are good and there's movies that are bad, but that is awesome. Thank you, Thomas Edison, for that because we what has Star Wars without that? Also, 1865, William Tecumseh Sherman begins his march through South Carolina. Mind you, he's been marching. The, it originally started in Matt, the march to Atlanta. Uh, they went through Atlanta, they burned Atlanta, or Atlanta burned, I should say. And then they continued the march to the sea. They went through South Carolina. South Carolina was the first state to secede, and those were the first Shots were fired as well for the Civil War. Uh, South Carolina got ravaged pretty good. 
Um, but today is the day, February 1st, 1865, General Sherman started his march into South Carolina. Also on this day, you have in 1865, the 13th Amendment is approved. National Freedom Day. So, everybody, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your National Freedom Day. And uh, I, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right, have a good one. And with that, that is it for Monday. It's a great start to the week. It is a great start to a new contest we got going. Got our 200th episode coming up at the end of the week. Friday will be our 200th episode. It's pretty dang amazing. Happy that we've all been able to contribute to this and make this happen and you guys have been showing up. So go enjoy the rest of your Monday, all the Zoom trainings, the live at one o'clock, Facebook Live, Monday Positivity, and then we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for some cool music stuff. We've got some new stuff for you tomorrow as well. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.